Hello, stock traders and investors. I hope all of you had a fantastic trading day today. Today, my trading day was a 2.5% gain, so I felt really great about that. And if you are following along with the top seven, then you should be really close to a 1.75% gain so far month to date. Year to date, I am way above my 200% goal that I had set at the beginning of the year at 358.10%. And I am excited to try to break 500% this year, which I think would be pretty fantastic. As far as my intraday trades go, I had a few of them. I intraday traded PTON on excitement of earnings coming up, CAL. AMC on them opening up more theaters. And I also had some short positions that I closed. And so I kind of wanted to talk about those. I had a short position on TSLA. I was able to short that for an 8% gain. I had a short on GL. I closed for a 0.6% loss. And I closed a short on ICLK for a 10.2% gain. I like to use Weeble for my intraday trading and for my short ideas. And the reason why I do is because they are so friendly to intraday traders. I just like how their platform works and they give you lots of great tools in order to do that. You can trade as early as three in the morning and as late as 7 p.m. Central Time at night. And so I really like that flexibility. And if you're looking for a powerful broker, I highly recommend you check them out in the description down below. You get one free stock when you sign up and when you deposit money. So today I had a big runner. I always love it when this happens. About four or five times a year, I'll have one run more than 100%. And so I'm always looking for that. I had a really great one in CORT today. Man, did it run. It didn't quite hit 100%. But one thing I like to do whenever I have a stock that hits over 100% is I will sell half of my position. Why? Because now I've doubled my money. Now I'm just playing with house money. I take away all that risk. And it's a really great way to still stay in a stock and play it out without a lot of stress. And so today when port hit 70% up, I sold up to half and took my profits on that. This guarantees me that I'm going to make money on that stock and it's going to be a great trade. Anyway, it's a technique I just wanted to talk to you about and kind of share with you. It's something that I do and I find it very effective. Let's get to this top seven because we have so many stocks to cover and there's so much great stuff going on. Okay, so the first is KALA. I've owned this for a little while. It's been on the list for a little while. Today it finished down 0.34%, my average in it's $9.27. The reason why it's not in the top seven is because it's got an October 30th PDUFA date, but I'm really expecting this stock to run. This would be a good time to get in because it has really dipped down, I think, to a good value. Analysts have a target of this stock at $22 a share, which is quite a bit higher than where it's at right now. So I like it to really run up to its PDUFA date once we get to October 30th. So there's gonna be some nice spikes and some nice runs on this. I think it's a great stock. The next one that's not in the top seven is CORT that I talked about before. Now, call this out right away in our Patreon group, and I highly recommend being a part of that because the stock market moves so fast that you don't want to miss something like this. And so we called it out. It had insider activity that was extremely bullish. And then we were able to get into it uh, right around two to 5% up with most members. And then this thing just started to climb, just started to go crazy. So today it finished up 58.45%. It was as high as 80% up at one point of the day. My average in it's $12.99. And Leonard Baker had been buying up shares in open market. And so that's kind of what put it on our radar in the first place. When I saw that, the way that he was buying, I knew that this was going to be a good stock to get into. So I made sure and let everybody know. The stock really moved on news today that their patent validity, which would be kind of questions on Coraline. I think I'm saying that right. It looks like there's something to that. So that would be huge for this company. And so I think CORT has even more to run. But I would definitely say the reason why it's not on the top seven is it's already run up quite a bit. And so you will want to be careful. And if you have less than 25,000 in your account, you will want to make sure you have day trades available if you are going to trade CORT because it's going to be a little volatile, but it should be really fun. The next that's not in the top seven is XOMA. So today it finished up 1.46%. My average in it's $19.51. And the reason why this one isn't in the top seven is it's a very recent insider buy. And so I was doing it for a three-day insider swing play, and I might stay in it even longer if there's more insider activity on it. But 
this is a low volume stock and so it's really hard to get in and get out and so i got in and a lot of the people were having issues getting into the stock it's not in the top seven just because of its low volume so that's something to kind of keep in mind the next is tcon and tcon has been a fantastic stock since i recommended it in our patreon group and man it is moving today it finished up 1.24 percent my average in it's two dollars and seven cents so i'm really nice and up in it the apataye management group has been buying up shares and they've been doing it multiple times and so i think that this is going to be a strong stock going forward but it's not in the top seven just because we've had it for a couple days and it's still got more to go definitely the next one is calx and this has been on our list for a long time today finished down 0.92 percent but this is such a great stock and there's been so much insider activity happening every couple of days so I'm expecting more insider activity tomorrow and another jump on this, but it's not in the top seven just because I liked some of the other stocks that were in there. But my average in it's $20.66 and Donald Listwin keeps on buying shares, which is really great. So if you are looking for winning strategies, I highly recommend you check out our Patreon group attached down below. We have a Discord that is attached and we have multiple levels to that Discord depending upon your level of seriousness and how you want to invest. So we have a basic and then we have a standard and for the small amount of money that it costs you will definitely make that up with just one good trade and the stock market moves really really quickly so you want to be a part of that group so that you get notified before it's on this top seven list so that you get the information first i'm always analyzing insider activity i'm always analyzing pdufa run-ups i'm always analyzing different short ideas different day trade ideas there's so many things i'm constantly working on that you really don't want to miss out on so i highly recommend that you check it out in the description down below okay number seven let's get to the top seven the first is aqst it's in the top seven. I know it's spot number seven today. It finished down 0.36%. So the sky is not falling. It is okay. We're still up in this since it's been on the list over 45%. So it's doing really well. My average in it's $5.35. It has a September 27th PDUFA date. So the run is about to start in my opinion. Librivant is an epilepsy drug that they are trying to get approved and I think it's going to be huge. And an analyst price target of $18 a share all the way up to to $33 a share is what some analysts think on AQST. So it's a very, very good stock. All right, number six is FBIO. And this has been a champion since I put it on the list. Today, it finished up another 2.90%. My average in it's $3.64. They have an October 10th PDUFA date and they have tons of drugs in the pipeline. It's extremely impressive. Analyst average target of $8 a share on this. So it has a lot of room to run and it can definitely hit that in an instant. And last year on FBIO, I was able to get 100% runner on it it was really terrific and so i love this company and it's one i know that can pop and man when it pops it pops huge number five is safe s-a-f-e so this finished up 0.59 percent not that impressive but my average in it's 51 dollars 93 and i love this stock because multiple days in a row it's now been 17 business days in a row iStar has been doing purchases of shares on that and they're a 10 percent owner and so as they continue to put more money in this, I think this stock will continue to move upwards. Number four is PRTY. This is brand new to the list, and this was a fresh insider. Today it finished down 3.71%, but that's actually really good for you. This would be a really great stock to get into. My average in it's $2.90. Multiple insiders have been reported, and multiple insider buys by James Conroy that was done in open market, the exact same price me or you would pay, and so it is very, very appealing, and I think PRTY is about to surge. So I think this is a great stock to get into and it finished down today. Perfect entry point for you. And number three, FLXS. I love this little stock. It is great. It has low volume. Anyway, today it finished up 1.18%. I am way up in it. My average in it is $16.59 and I'm loving it. But multiple officers have been buying shares and especially this one CFO and one director. And that CFO insider purchasing, that is my favorite. So I love this stock for that reason. It still has much more room to run. Number two is ETON. Today it finished down 0.39%. My average in it is $6.95. It has a September 15th and 29th PDUFA date. And so double PDUFA date run up in the same month I think that's gonna be huge and ETON is a great stock to be in and number one and this is brand new to the list 
is PLCE, so Children's Place. Today it finished up 7.35%. It is a ridiculous value right now. My average in it's $20.06, and Leah Sharon had an excellent insider purchase on it, and so she thinks it's a great buy also, and it was done in open market, and I feel like this one is going to surge big time. I do a lot of work for this list, so if you could do me a huge favor, and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button, and then also, if you would do the honor of sharing this video with your friends I would really appreciate that and then also if you love this list and how it's put together please subscribe and then turn on those bell notifications to get notified every time something comes out I want every one of you to know the whole reason I started this was to help beginner investors and so I look forward to talking with all of you each and every day and Raytoven out